Welcome to this episode of Healthy and Happy. I am Raven Martinborough, and today our topic is drink more water and climb Mount Everest. Our presenter, Dr. Carlene Sinclair. In 1952, the Swiss team, believed at that time to be the best in the world, tried to climb Mount Everest and failed. When the British examined, they discovered something very important. The Swiss had been drinking just two glasses of water per day. So the British team decided they will drink 12 glasses. And the rest is history. On May 29, 1953, Edmund Hillary and Tenzel Norgay became the first humans to reach the summit. What was their secret? They just drank more water. So Doc, why is water so important to us, to our health and to our performance? Well, about 70% of our body is made up of water. It makes up 80% of the blood and 85% of our brains. Even the bones are 15% water. Every cell in our body requires water to function. It allows the food we eat to become water soluble. And after the nutrients have been digested, it takes the blood, which is mostly water, to transport it to the different organs in the body. Okay. Again, the blood transports the oxygen from our lungs everywhere in our body to each and every cell. So Dr. Sinclair, you're saying that the first important function is that it's a transportation system for nutrients as well as oxygen. Yes, it is. Is there a second uh, reason? Oh yes, water is also the body's disposal agent. It transports the body's impurities for disposal. It transports them to the kidneys and it facilitates the removal of waste products even through perspiration. It also helps us get rid of stuff through our bowels and feces. Okay, so since water cleanses the system from its impurities, someone said it's like trying, if we drink insufficient water, it is like trying to wash a sink of dirty dishes with a cup of water. That's true. <laughs> And Tell us about the third function. Well, it can help combat illness. Water combats constipation. Since it removes the toxins that are harmful to the body through the feces without having them stay in there for a long time, constipation is associated with colon cancer. So drinking enough water allows us to have normal, healthy bowel movements and helps prevent toxin from building up in our body. So it, you're saying that water can lessen the incidence of cancer, colon it, cancer? Yes, it can. Also bladder cancer. Okay. Because drinking enough water, again, allows you to empty your system. Okay. Okay? And another import, important thing that it does with the kidneys is kidney stones. It's a very, very painful condition. And drinking enough water can decrease the formation of these stones. It also helps with our joints by lubricating our joints to help prevent joint pain. It also helps prevent and decrease obesity because when we drink more, we eat we less. Eat less, okay. Yes. And we take in less calories. If we eat foods that have a lot of water, like some fruits, we're full. And so we end up eating less calories and therefore it avoids obesity. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, how much water do we need to drink? About six to eight, eight ounce glasses a day. Those with a bigger body mass will need to drink more. If you're exercising vigorously, especially out in the sun, you will need to drink more. Illnesses, fevers, vomiting, diarrhea, you need to replace that water in addition to the normal water intake. And here's another guide. Look at the color for your urine. If you're not getting enough water, your urine will be darker. If you are getting enough water, you should have clear urine at least once a day. All right. Now tell us about sodas. That, that has water. 
Is that a substitute? Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> no sodas. Sodas also have a lot of sugar. And some of them have caffeine, which can be a diuretic. Each can of soda has between 8 and 12 teaspoons of sugar. Okay. So if you drink two cans of soda a day, that's over 600 cans per year. That's over 6,000 teaspoons of sugar wow. a year. Coffee is also harmful because it's a diuretic and it can rid the body of the water that it needs. Plus, it's addictive. Now, one, one more concept. Uh, for those guys to have reached the top of Everest, they had to have a water strategy. So if we are to experience the Everest of our health, we also need a strategy to get that, those six to eight glasses. <laughs> can you give us some ideas uh, well, how we can create such a strategy? Absolutely. When you wake up, try to drink one or two glasses very early in the day. Keep water handy so that you can drink it at regular intervals. Measure a daily supply of water. Keep it with you and try to drink it and finish it throughout the day. Try to finish it by early evening because if you drink too much water too late in the evening, you'll end up waking up and interrupting your sleep, which is very important. And lastly, do not wait to feel thirsty. When you're thirsty, your need for water is long overdue. So try to drink enough so that you do not have that hard okay. thirst feeling. That's a lot of information, valuable information. Thanks for these strategies so that we can drink more water, climb the Everest of our health, and live healthy and happy. These are excellent strategies. Be sure to view part two of this episode.